We are in West Oxfordshire at St. Ken Elms Church, and it's a beautiful church for many reasons, but what I want to show you is the medieval graffiti inside. But before we even enter the church, here in the south porch door is some I'd love to show you. In June and I think of you Only on the streets, not the So south porches were used for a whole variety of purposes. People held weddings here, people would sign deeds in this space, and people would also leave marks of faith. And this cross here, look at how deeply incised it is. Legends tell that, that these are crusader crosses. And these other two crosses here, you can see, have a slash through them, and it's thought that, that these people came back, and perhaps this person did not. So high, wanna keep the feeling close. It comes and it goes, comes and it goes. Something in the air makes me feel intact. I'll say. There's specific spots that you should look for medieval graffiti in churches. To the left of the altar, often you will find what are known as apotropaic marks, which are marks to ward against evil. This is a devil's maze. And the medieval mind thought that the world was teeming with demons and devils, but they were kind of stupid. And you could draw something like this that would trick them and they'd get caught in this little maze. This is known as a witch's mark, a daisy wheel. These marks, compass drawn, were thought to ward off the evil eye. And uh, it's probably 600, 700 years old. I'm holding the light all of this time. Holding the line for you. I'm now standing in the chancel right where the, where the rude screen would have originally been. Here to the right, this, this may be hard to capture, but there's a ladder, Jacob's ladder, climbing up into the, into the heavens. Isn't that wonderful? I love finding these bits of evidence that people interacted with the church in a way that is completely different than we do today. Down here we see the Alpha and the Tau. But super interestingly, these little boreholes. English parishioners thought that the very stones, the very fabric of the church was so holy that it could perhaps be applied to a wound as a poultice. So people would carve out little bits of powder, take them home and put them in a in a bandage or maybe drink them as a tonic. So this activity, this, this scraping and this carving into the, into the church would have gone on during services, which to my mind is unthinkable, but to the medieval mind, it was clearly a very common practice. 